Hey, Michael, congrats on the win. Uh, one thing, you know, you reached the pinnacle of Bellator three times. Uh, you silenced the doubters uh, that questioned the first fight. Uh, what do you have to say about your journey now 10 years in Bellator? I, I couldn't be happier with my journey, um, but I will have to correct you. I have never hit the pinnacle. There is no pinnacle in this sport. Um, there is no pinnacle because, as I said before, it's always about outperforming your previous self. I love the belts. I love being able to provide for my family with this sport. I love the glitz. I love the glam. I love the red carpets. I love all the cool stuff. I love being on TV. I love bleeding in front of people and, and, and giving men something to, uh, to watch and, 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 and women, uh, something to enjoy and the fans something to, to, to watch us go out there and do what we do inside the cage. Um, but there is no pinnacle. It's always me trying to outperform my previous self and, uh, you know, three, three titles later, um, three titles later, I'm looking at it as, as is I'm only three titles in. Um, and I got a lot more left to prove. I got a lot more gas left in the tank, got a lot more rubber on these tires and I got a lot more heat on these hands. So I'm excited to go out there and do it. All right. Our last question comes from Randall folks. Uh, great, great fight, Michael. Uh, you talked about records, Kevin Varghese. Hey Tim, congrats on the win. Uh, you were very jubilant after the victory when, uh, and uh, you were running around the cage. What were you saying to everybody that was out there? What were you trying to say? Uh, I was just reminding them from my last fight that I'm not a stepping stone. Um, you don't have to be in this game a very long time that uh, I think I was attempted to get used as a stepping stone and that pretty much motivated me. I'm like, I'm not a stepping stone. I'm moving on with my career and I'm moving up. All right, Tim. Well, you know, one big aspect was you said you weren't going to rush in for the takedowns. Uh, were you surprised by, you know, the way the fight ended or were you expecting, hey, if I get him to the ground, it's game over? Uh, once I got to the ground there, I was really happy with my position and actually kind of was a conversation I had with myself in my, you know, in my head uh, after we were kind of rolling around there for a little bit. I'm like, uh, no, thank you. <clears throat> no matter what happens, uh, <clears throat> no matter what happens, I'm like, as long as I get back to the mat, I'm feeling good and confident right here. So I, I felt very comfortable that whole time. Thank you, Tim. And I hope to see more from you in the future. Thank you. Kevin Varghese. Hey, Sabah, congrats on the win. Uh, one question is, you know, uh, during the fight, you know, working on Millinder working off his back, were you at, at, uh, at all feeling in trouble when he attempted his submissions or were you calm and collected? I was calm and collected. He did. He attempted two chokes. Um, seemed pretty tight, but I got out. Also, uh, he managed to, for a second, uh, reverse and take your back for a second. Uh, what led to that mistake almost? You know, take like, my when, back? When the fuck like, did he take my back? Like when you were on, uh, when you were controlling uh, his uh, uh, back and it, it flipped off and then you were on a uh, full guard. Oh, when he got, got top position, that was me resting. If I wanted to get out, I would have got up right away. But it didn't last very long on top. I was just sitting there resting, recovering for a bit, and then I got the fuck out of there. Starting with Kevin Varghese. Your line is live. <clears throat> hey, Chris, congrats on the win again. Um, you know, like you said, five years into this fight, you know, fight coming to be. Uh, walk us through your emotion through fight week and getting to the cage. Uh I didn't uh, go to college and, uh, you know, pursue this life of a mixed martial artist and academy owner and a coach, uh, you know, because I like, like conforming to the societal norms. And I will say that this fight week was incredibly professional, man. They kept us so safe. But damn, I felt like a little kid. I've never been bossed around more in my life, man. It was crazy. I was like kind of getting, you know, like you just like a little too much, man. A little too much bossing around. I'm fine with I'm, I'm coachable. You tell me what to do. I'll work on it. But I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to go home. So it was a lot. So, you know, after this fight, you know, what's your future looking like? You know, what's the next step? Do you want to have a quick turnaround or do you, do you plan on taking a little time off, healing up a bit before your next fight? Um, wherever it goes, I know that I'm pretty certain this was my last fight with Bellator uh, con contractually. I have nothing but nice things to say about Bellator. Atm atmosphere is amazing. Uh, if they want me. Let's talk. I mean, I'm very happy. I'm willing to fight again. But my wife and I have had a very long, long, long last year with a lot of personal stuff. We we are solid. Not that that is anybody's business, but we have had a lot of uh, like financial stuff going on. 
uh, we bought our first house and we got into some trouble with that, you know, just remodel, man, remodels are crazy. Uh, you know, first year of marriage and we did a remodel. I don't know if anyone else knows what I'm talking about, but damn son. So we're almost done there and I'd like to get that done and like live in my house for a little bit. And then I'd like to get another fight wherever it is. So I come from Kevin Varghese. Hey, Adam, congrats on the win. Um, explain to your, me your mindset between fight week, you know, ever since suffering the loss and then coming to this fight day. Uh, what's been the key difference uh, leading to your victory? So during this fight week, you know, we are living in crazy worlds. So that pandemic was really hard for me. So I was thinking about oh, maybe I should go back to Hungary, but I was staying here hoping the Bellator start again. So I'm really thankful for the Bellator. They give me opportunity. So on this fight, I was really focused. Just I was focused on the fight. I didn't care about nothing else. So I just, I was really focused. All right, Adam. Thanks once again, and congrats on the win. Thank you so much. Our next question comes from Kevin Varghese. Hey, Valerie, big fan. Congrats on the win. Uh, listen, you silenced a lot of doubters uh, this time with your statement victory. Uh, I'm, I can't say I'm really happy that you did because, you know, a lot of these people just talk from just, you know, uh, nonsense. How do you feel right now? You know, you're a rising contender. How, what part of your game do you think you need to improve on so that you can say, hey, I'm improving on this aspect of my game and I think I'm ready for, you know, uh, to be a number one contender or even to be champion? Um, I think that I proved a lot of people wrong. But who I proved the most to what the caliber of athlete I am is to myself. I needed this win for myself and for my confidence because it's been a year. And for six months, I haven't fought in the cage. So this win was for myself. But I feel like I'm an amazing boxer. I'm an amazing kicker. I could be an amazing Muay Thai. I'm an amazing wrestler because I train with all the wrestlers in Miami. The only place I think I need a little work is my jiu-jitsu because it's a lot of technique and, and I'm very hard-headed. So I just want to throw hard and I get caught sometimes. But jiu-jitsu is where I need the most improvement. But I think at, at Bellator's pace and my manager's pace for stone management, um, I'll make the right decision.